the genres that fans can expect to see from Venerai Publishing, you should expect to see a lot of action. And I think you, you'll see that the stories we tell are, are really character-based. We, we really like to have our lead characters be unique and be controversial and even be a little bit unexpected and a little quirky. Um, we, we want them to be interesting. And if we're going to have a story that lasts and we're going to have a world that lasts, we want our lead character to be an uh, interesting point of view to see it from. Uh, I think that the genres we, you know, action, uh, sci-fi, and, uh, and, you know, historical epics like Samurai's Blood are, are definitely stuff that we like doing around here. In the near future, I think that we'll have a few uh, more stories that are set in the present day. And we'll have, uh, you know, we're, what we really want to do is create a universe in which all of our characters can exist. And so if they can all, if they can exist in the same world at the same time, then you can start doing things like bring, overlapping their stories and having them run into one another. In the near future, uh, Benaroya Publishing is going to be releasing Blood Merchant, The Fires of Avalon, and The Redeemer. Uh, Blood Merchant is set in uh, modern day uh, with the assumption that what would happen if uh, people and vampires le learned to coexist and vampires were you know, not allowed to kill humans for blood. So where would they get their blood and how would that business work? Um, in this scenario, our lead character is the guy who sells the most blood to vampires in New York. And uh, in light of that, he's a really powerful and uh, interesting character. And uh, he's got a lot of pressure on him, I would say, because, uh, you know, if he doesn't deliver the blood, the vampires are not very happy. And even though they're not allowed to kill humans, perhaps they would. Um, so, you know, the story takes place when one of his shipments is tainted and basically the blood makes uh, some very important vampires sick and uh, the vampires come for revenge. The Fires of Avalon is set in sort of Arthurian England and uh, it has a lot of the same thing themes as the Samurai's Blood. The, or the lead characters in the story are Max and Abigail who've known each other since they were children and uh, who are you know young adults in love. Uh, they are separated through a series of events and they each think the other is dead. Uh, many years later through a series of uh, unlikely coincidences they essentially uh, cross paths again and they've both uh, become very important people. Uh, when they get back together the odds are against them to be, allowed, to be able to be together but they uh, you know find a way. Uh, the Redeemer uh, is a concept that uh, Jeff Kahn, the writer, actually came up with himself, and it's actually uh, very cool. It's a, it's a th supernatural uh, movie, but set in the Old West. And so when a uh, mi gold mining company comes to town in an Old West town, the uh, church deacon basically you know, predicts that all sorts of bad things are going to come along with these cold miners. And uh, in fact, he's right. The town becomes, uh, you know, totally different and they're running roughshod over the law and all this stuff. And uh, when the gold miners essentially decide to burn down the church, um, the deacon is actually gets caught inside the church as it burns down. Uh, one would think he died, but in fact, uh, he kind of is resurrected um, with supernatural powers, and uh, he comes back to clean up the town and bring it back to the way it was.